Good morning children. Today we shall learn about fractions. At home, when there is a chocolate bar and only you have to eat it, then there is no problem. You can eat the whole of the chocolate bar. Same way, if there is a cake, then you can have the whole cake. But what if, if your sister too wants to eat the chocolate bar? Then what to do? You have to share. Let us cut the chocolate bar into two parts. Here, one is small part and other is the bigger part. As it is a chocolate, no one would like to take the smaller part, right? Both you and your sister would like to have the bigger piece. But if we cut it into two equal parts, then there won't be any fight over the chocolate. Right children? So, when we cut a whole thing, say the chocolate bar into two equal parts, then each part is called a half. So, the whole chocolate is cut into two halves. We write half as 1 by 2 because 1 is cut into two equal parts. So, half is 1 by 2. Is this the only way to cut the chocolate bar into halves? No, there are other ways too. First, we cut it vertically into two equal pieces. Here, we cut the chocolate into halves by cutting it horizontally. Still, we get halves. So, one half and another half make a whole. As we saw in the story, did Motu cut the cake into two equal parts? No, he didn't. These are not halves. Even these are not halves. When the two parts are of equal size, then only we can call the equal parts halves. If the twins had themselves cut the cake into two equal parts like this, then both of them would have got a half part of equal size. No question of fighting over the cake then, right? But can only a rectangle or a circle be cut into half? No, we can cut many shapes into halves. There are different shapes but the main thing is that a part of whole object is called half only when both the parts are of the same size. Now, what if there were three children to share the chocolate bar? No problem, we can cut into three equal parts like this. Here, all the three parts are equal. When the three parts are of same size, we call the equal parts thirds. We write it as 1 by 3 as 1 is cut into three equal parts. See, 1 part, 2 part, 3 part. So, 1 third is one of the three parts. Same way, if the cake was also cut into three equal parts, then Motu as well as the twins, Chinu and Minu could have shared equally. This way, Chinu gets one third, Minu gets one third and Motu also gets one third. All are happy. If we combine all the thirds, what do we get? We get the whole cake. Right kids? Now, coming back to our chocolate bar. How do we share it equally amongst four children? Can we do it? Yes, we can. See, here are four equal parts. When four parts of a whole thing are of same size, we call each part as fourths. We write one fourth as one by four, meaning one is cut into four equal parts. One part, two part, 
three part and four part so each of the four children shall get one fourth part child number 1 one, one fourth part child number 2 one fourth part child number 3 one fourth part and child number 4 one fourth part so all get equal share same way in the case of cake 2 the twins could have cut it into four equal parts one fourth for meenu one fourth for chinu one fourth for motu and one fourth for home you forgot mother the mother who made such yummy cake we should keep one for her too correct so one fourth for the mother now let us revise what we understood about parts what part of the circle is colored there are four parts so it is one fourth part of the whole which is colored we can also call it a quarter here two fourths are colored hey look two fourths is equal to half so we can also call it half half is equal to two fourths here three parts out of four parts are colored we call it three fourths or three quarters right kids here the circle has three equal parts that is thirds so if two parts are colored then we call two thirds are colored so we have learned that we can cut a whole object into many parts then each part is called a fraction that was all for today bye bye children